Hey guys, it's Salaam Alaikum, it's Jenny Welcome back to my channel yet again for another kitchen fun video. And I am super excited to do today's video for you guys because it involves a pepper side dish. Now if you saw the video yesterday and the video before that, you guys probably know, yep, we're going to be making Mortini today. Now Mortini is one of those things that I was actually introduced to um, by my aunt. I went, I think it was, I can't remember, she had something and it was, I fell in love with it. That was some couple, a year, some years ago. And since then, it's like like my onion pepper chow. Like this, this is one of those go-to things. If you are pepper mouth, you have to have this from time to time. And it's not that hard to make, so I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make it. Now, Mortini, they call it pepper choker, but I wouldn't really say it's a pepper choker, but it's a pepper dish. And um, it's just one of those things that you have to eat a little bit, depending on how much pepper you use, of course. But it's actually also called upagar, but I've, I've not really used that term, but some of you guys may know it as that. So it's a combination basically of like um, bygone or eggplant, melangen, um, tomatoes, okra, onion, and it's just like roasted all together. And you roast the pepper and the garlic and the onion and, and everything, and you add some like shadow bene, culancho, and you just mash it all together, and it's so, so, so good. Now it's supposed to be like a fiery dish, but again you can adjust it if you don't want too much of a spice so let me just show you how you how i'm just going to go about making this so just to go through this stuff with you guys before we actually start so i've got my eggplant or bygone melangen i've got my okra my onion uh pimento garlic tomato shadow benny all right guys so to get things started right i have a wire rack on my stove now if you don't have a gas stove you can go ahead and put it in your oven and put it in um, the broil option. You can use that option. And all I'm going to be doing is basically is just adding all the stuff onto the wire rack. And you want everything to get nice and charred and roasted. So when those are done, we're going to put the other two because I have my other two burners in use right now. So we're just going to do it um, in different steps. But normally you just put everything all together in a tray if you're using the oven option and put everything on broil and that's fine. If you have another, um, if you have all your burners on your stove free, put everything up together to save on some time. So once they're nicely charred, we're just going to remove it from the fire. So after roasting all of the ingredients except the shadow benny, this is what everything basically looks like. So the next step would be to remove the flesh from this, um, the bygone, and we're going to remove the skin from the tomatoes. You're going to chop the tip and the bottom pieces off of the okra, and we're just going to put everything into a nice bowl, and we're just going to mix it all together. And you're basically just going to scoop out all of the flesh from it. Then you're going to remove the skin from the tomatoes. I'm going to remove the tips and the bottom pieces from the okra. And just remove the skin from the garlic. So if you have one of those mortar pistols at home, you know, those old school style, you can um, use that and to, as we call it in Trinidad, mash everything up or pong it up or you can put it into a food processor um, either way or you can use a fork or another like a spoon or something and just mash everything up all together it depends on if you like it chunky if you don't like it chunky but feel free to use the food processor if you need to use it I'm gonna try using a potato masher to see if that will help and if not we will put it to in the uh, food processor okay guys so I have a confession I ended up using the food processor because it was just taking way too long so I put in the food processor and see how nice it came out so to this now I'm going to add some salt and the next step would be to chunky it and chunking is just basically you're going to be heating some oil and we are going to be adding that to this. So I put my oil to heat up in the um, in a pan and um, once it's hot I'm going to add it to the um, 
mixture we just made there. Just gonna carefully add it to this. Looks absolutely amazing. And this guy's pepper mouth, you all have never made it. Maybe you all have tasted it, but never gave it a try in your own kitchen. Try it out, it's really not that hard at all. Alrighty guys, so our Mauritani is done, smells delicious, tasted it and it's pretty spicy. But of course you can adjust the pepper according to um, your spice level preference, but I like spicy, um, I like it hot and I think this is just like one of those dishes that just have to have a lot of pepper in it. So you guys try it out, it's amazing with your dal and rice and stuff, it goes fantastic with that kind of food. Try it out. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks so much for watching as always and I will see you all in the next video.